morning, another day, another walk, just in my local woods today. And we're gonna answer the question of why should you get into walking in 2023? So let's go. So obviously because I'm massively into walking, I do get a few questions from people that haven't really done much but wanna get into it more. So I'm gonna try and answer those questions for you today in this video. First big question everybody asks, what do you need? Well, the thing is you don't really need much at all. That's the beauty of walking. So like with most hobbies or sports, you can pay a fortune and walking, to be honest, isn't any different. You can get digital gear like your watch to track your walking steps and where you're going and have maps on your walking apps then you can have the latest and greatest boots jackets everything so you can pay a lot of money but on the flip side you can literally pay nothing so take today for example i've literally just wanted to take the dogs out for an hour run around so i've thrown on an old pair of tracksuit bottoms and a jacket hoodie fleece it's not going to rain so I'm not that bothered. I've got a pair of walking shoes but you don't even need that. An old pair of trainers will be perfectly fine so you can do it for next to nothing. Another big question I always get asked is how do I find different places to go? Now it does help that I've got the OS Maps app so I can look on there and other people put routes on there and I can make my own. But if you don't want to pay out for that, you can easily go on Facebook and join a local walking group. You can use good old Google. And often you can get little handouts from places like the library that we spotted some in there the other day, local community centers, or just good old word of mouth. Have a look out for local billboards like this, or you could follow route markers like this, public footpath. Let's go. Why start now in 2023? Well, it's the perfect time to start because like with any sport, you need a certain level of fitness. I mean, you can start out walking right at the lowest level of fit. It's really good just to get your heart pumping. And even if you can only manage five, 10 minutes, you build it up from there. But in my opinion, some of the best walks are when you get to a viewpoint or a destination point and it gives you that sense of achievement. I mean, I'll leave a link up there because that explains about the 88 trig points in the Peak District. And what a trig point is for me, is that destination it's that summit it's the target i'm hoping to get to along the walk now if you're starting out now it's perfect because you can build yourself up over back end of the winter into the spring and then you get to the summer and you can go places where you can see these stunning views in either the peak district the lake district scotland down south in Dartmoor, Exmoor, all of these national parks which are for us to enjoy and yourself to enjoy, but you need that little level of fitness and nobody enjoys it when you're struggling to get up the hill, you might feel a bit of pressure because people are ahead of you and you just wanna get there. So if you build up your fitness over the next couple of months, you're gonna enjoy your walking so much more just coming up a small incline of a hill here. So that's gonna help me with my fitness. It's gonna improve my cardiovascular system and I'm just gonna enjoy the walk when I get to the top. So another one, is it worth it? Yes, <laughs> it's a plain simple answer. Yes it is, but it's worth it for a number of reasons. One, it's good for your health, all right? It's not like you go into the gym and you're in a confined space you're outside, you're in nature, so you're doing exercise outside. Like, look at that field there, beautiful. 
Look at the forest behind me here. Stunning. Okay, and the increased oxygen levels around where you're walking and in your blood is going to be beneficial. Everybody knows that being outside is good for your mental health. So, getting out walking ticks all the boxes. So unlike some sports or hobbies, there's no real rule to walking apart from leave no trace. And all that means is when you're walking, don't break bushes, don't leave rubbish, leave it basically how you found it. So leave no trace that you've been there. That's it. And we all should be doing that really anyway. Now, if you want a bit of help, like everybody needs help sometimes, don't they? Even if you're the best in the world, you always look for somebody else for a bit of advice. So if you want any more questions, leave them in the comments. I'll try and answer them. The community of my subscribers will try and answer them as well, I'm sure. If you've not subscribed already, hit that subscribe button. And let me know if you're gonna set any goals this year. Now, I spoke about the 88 trig points. That's a goal that a lot of people are setting. And I'll leave that video up there for you to click on if you wanna watch that. So that's why you should get into walking in 2023. I hope to see you on the hills. I'm gonna finish my walk now. So it's bye from me and another day, another walk.